This is an Agilent ESOP EDA demo on how to set up and run a simple load pool simulation. We will show how to insert a load pool simulation schematic into your project, edit the schematic to run a load pool on your device, and view the results. We're going to run a load pool simulation on the FET that's used in the example project PCS underscore PAMP project, which is in the RF board examples directory. From a blank schematic, I'm going to select Design Guide, Load Pull, One Tone Load Pull Simulation. This will copy a one tone load pull simulation setup and corresponding data display into this project. I'm going to zoom in on the schematic, delete the sample device, and replace it with one from this example project. After wiring it up, the schematic looks like this. I'm going to set the available source power to 14 dBm. I'm going to set the RF frequency to 1900 MHz. I'm going to set the high bias voltage to 6 volts. And I'm going to set the gate bias voltage to negative 1.2 volts. Although I'm not going to do so here, you may modify the bias network as you wish. The next thing to do is to specify the circular region on the Smith chart over which the load reflection coefficient will be swept. Here, the S11 center variable sets the center of the circle, and the S11 underbar row variable sets the radius. I'm going to set S11 underbar center to 0 plus J0. Although I'm not going to do so here, you may set the source and load impedances at the harmonic frequencies as desired. Now I'm going to launch a simulation by clicking on the simulate icon on the toolbar. The simulation ran in less than nine seconds, and this is what the data display looks like. This Smith chart shows the power added efficiency and power delivered contours. You may easily change the step size between the contours as well as the number of contours just by editing these variables. The upper right plot shows the results on a renormalized Smith chart. The lower right Smith chart shows the actually simulated reflection coefficients. If you move the marker, the impedance, power added efficiency, and power delivered that correspond to that particular reflection coefficient are displayed. To summarize this demonstration of running a load pool simulation, we have shown how to insert a load pool simulation schematic into your project, edit the schematic to run a load pool on your device, and view the results.
ADS is a very flexible and powerful tool for running load pool simulations. And this has demonstrated just one of many load pool simulation setups that are available. This slide shows other places to get load pool simulations for use with ADS. Thanks for watching this Agilent ESOP EDA demo.